Second one, how do we actually prepare the workforce of the future for this shift? So in Zambia, what we've done is we've partnered the Copper Belt University with Stanford University on a master's co-teaching program on geoscience and data science. Because we know that for the geologists of the future to be equipped, they need to start learning it now. So it is actually a new curriculum and a program uh, in Zambia. We managed to get um, one of our partners from Stanford University, who's also a uh, a colleague of um, the co-founders to speak with the local universities in Zambia, look at those who are looking to do a master's in geoscience and data science and co-teach this together. So it's, it's a mix of online and in-class. Um, the U.S. faculty is teaching it online, but I think two or three times a year, the U.S. faculty for data science will come spend some time in Zambia at the two universities, University of Zambia and CBU, teaching geoscientists the data science elements applicable to mineral exploration. So that's how one way we can prepare the workforce of the future. In what we do now, it's basically on the job training. In-house, I've got about 14 interns from different backgrounds, environmental health, business, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, geology. All of them have gone on like uh, coding Python courses. Oh. They have to because they, this equips them on the job now. And then we give them tasks like we need to automate this. Can you write a code for this? It's very, very new and it's uncomfortable for all of us, including myself. So I, I, when I got this role, I enrolled into a data science course with Columbia University because online. I was like, I need to understand principally what this is. So it's a learning environment. It's a highly scientific company. We consider ourselves more of a technology company and not a traditional miner. Firstly, we've never even run a mine as a company, even though a number of us have a mining background. But we leverage technology and science is really, really our hinge. And it's talked about almost every day in the company. So it's a, for me, it's a, it's a space of disruption and relearning. Africa, if we want to get ahead, we need to actually become that center of excellence.